Zaha was a genius. She was doing work that nobody else conceived of, never mind figured out how to build. Zaha was a pioneer, and she was a star in the firmament of ideas and of poetry. And when, once a star goes out, there is really no one to replace it. She was unique. There are very few people in the world who are known by one name. And, you know, anywhere in the world you can talk about Zaha. Zaha's historical significance, I think, is, if anything, has been underestimated. She's been a monumental innovator, radically expanding the degrees of freedom one has as a composer in space. Who knows what extraordinary creative things might have come out of that imagination if it had another one or two decades to, to keep producing things. While I was at the AA, there was this sense that this was somebody who was going to be a great architect. The AA was this just hotbed of radical thinking. And yet she was the one who, I think, most successfully exported those ideas and developed it into a language that, that could then be kind of understood. I started studying architecture in 1993. And of course, like stumbled upon uh, Zaha's paintings. What she managed to do, which is so amazing, is to actually take this entire universe that seemed uh, impossible uh, and unbuildable and completely sort of changing our understanding of what's fantasy and what's reality. When you're an artist or an architect, you need immense courage, you know, and Zaha had this immense courage and radiating immense courage, and I think that was infectious to many, many young people. She has certainly sculpted out a way through society and architecture, which is unique, which is so great, I cannot, the words are not sufficient. What you hear about Zaha and what she was actually like are two very different things. She was very tender about the people that mattered to her. She also had a temper sometimes in the work, but it came out of an intense will to excellence and a certain degree of insecurity, whether what we had at any time was good enough, which kind of fueled this drive to do more. She was so full of energy. She was so full of, full of ideas. How do you sum Zaha up? A great architect and a great person, a very special person. The very essence of Zaha was a real romantic, very sensitive, but a warrior too. And that's how I like to remember her.